Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. A few months ago I posted a video on my channel about how to install mods into Skyrim Special Edition manually and there was a lot of talk on that video about the new mod manager Vortex and how people were having a lot of trouble using that. So today I am going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to install mods into Skyrim Special Edition in 2020 with the Vortex mod manager. Before we get into that though, my channel has reached 100 subscribers, that is my first big milestone, so I'd like to say thank you very much to everybody that has been liking and commenting and supporting me so far. It means a lot and I'm very grateful, so thank you so much. Also, if you enjoy this video and it is helpful as always, please leave a like, comment, comment if you have any questions, and make sure to subscribe for more gaming content. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial and have a great day. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your preferred web browser and search Vortex Mods. Very simple. You're going to come over here to the Vortex Nexus Mods community. Here we go. And obviously, I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to completely go through with it. But you are going to click right here, download the latest version now. You're going to download everything. It's like a normal Windows file. And then you will be faced with the Vortex screen. So here's Vortex. When you get to Vortex, you are going to see everything you see here except it might not start on this page but you're gonna have to go to games and then you will not see any games here F just for the purpose of this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you're gonna do but it's not gonna be exact so you're just gonna have to listen to what I'm saying it's very easy basically Skyrim special edition is going to be one of the games down here so you're going to want to go over to it and click manage right here and then it will pop up up here if you have other games installed in vortex already it might not automatically activate it as you can see I have fallout New Vegas here as an example you will have to come over here and click activate for Skyrim special edition and then it will load up like this so once you have that done you're going to want to go over to the settings tab and you're going to want to change a couple settings that are going to make your lives much easier um, the first thing you're going to want to do is enable deploy mods when enabled and enable mods when installed make sure both of these are on so that you don't have to click a button every time you want to enable install a mod uh, it just makes it so you have to click less buttons in order to get the mod installed. So check both of those. And then you're going to want to go over to mods. And you're going to want the mod staging folder. Now, this is not your folder for the game. This is going to be set. These are separate folders for Vortex to take and use for the compiling of the mods. So basically, you're going to want to make your own folder. So make your own folder in your computer, wherever you would like to. As you can see here, it's in my D drive, and I called it Vortex Mod Staging Folder. So you're going to want to click here. Once you make the folder, find it. So I would, in this case, go to this PC, New Volume D, Falco, which is the folder that it is in and I would select folder and then it would pop up here after that you're gonna to want to go to download this is going to be where the mods are going to download to same thing you're going to want to make a different folder maybe in the same place maybe in a different place whatever preference and you're gonna to want to click the same thing and search for the folder and hit select folder okay so once you have both of those done and all your settings are correct now you are ready to start installing mods so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on over to Nexus Mods 
So now we are going to hit Nexus Mods. I'll search it anyway, Nexus Mods and Community. Same as the other video, if you guys have seen my manual uh, mod installation guide, you're going to go to the same website, except now when you go to download a mod for Skyrim Special Edition, you're going to click the Vortex download rather than the manual download for the mod. So I'm going to go into it and make and uh, download a couple of mods as examples for you guys so that you can see exactly what is going to happen when you go to download a mod. Okay, so here's a good mod, the Millwater Retreat. So this mod adds a player home. Okay, so now we are at the point where we are going to install our first mod. So I switched the screen here. As you could see on the right, we have my Vortex mod manager. And on the left, we have my browser where I am going to download said mod. So Millwater Retreat is the mod that we are going to download. So you will click the Vortex link to download it. It will load for a second and it will say to download it with a slow download. Premium gives you max download speeds. So you're going to click the slow download. It's fine. It won't take that long. And then you're going to hit open Vortex here. Now you're going to see instantly in Vortex it has said that a download has started. So if you go over into your downloads you can see that the Millwater Retreat mod is in fact downloading. And look at that. It is already done downloading. So once the download is finished, it's not going to automatically install into your Skyrim. You are going to have to hit install. So once the download's finished, click the install button, and it has installed the, the uh, Millwater Retreat mod. You can see now it says it is automatically deploying because we enabled the setting to automatically deploy it when it's installed. It might tell you that some mods are redundant. If you have a lot of mods, you can click show. It's going to say that the mods have uh, textures that are redundant. Um, the, it won't break the game. It won't do any harm, but it might slow down the deployment a bit. I just leave them on anyway. I don't. You can disable them if you want, but I just leave them on because I want everything that I've installed to stay enabled. So after you are done with this part, you can now go into the mods part, and you can search either search if you have a lot of mods installed already. You can search for the mod. If not, it's just going to be right here, but we will uh, search Millwater Retreat. As you can see, it is right here. It is enabled. Now, if you want to really double check, you can go over to Plugins, and this will show you sometimes when you um, install a mod that has multiple plugins, it will say Millwater Retreat mod has multiple plugins right here, and then you will click Enable All. That is enabling all the plugins for the mod down here now for the millwater treat there was only one millwater retreat there was only one so as you can see that message did not pop up and it is here and it is enabled so it's enabled in plugins and is it is enabled in mods like i said the mod manager will give you a little notification if you need to enable more plugins for a mod so watch out for that when you install any mods so just for the purpose of the video i'm going to install one more Okay, so here we go. This is a this is a good mod to have. This is simple craftable linen wraps. So this mod allows you to craft linen wraps using four tundra cotton. Very simple but useful mod. So you click the mod, you click the vortex link, give it a second to load, click the slow download, which isn't really that slow. Click open Vortex. Vortex will start downloading. Look at that. It is already finished. And now we can hit install. It will deploy it. And just like that, you guessed it. Now we have simple craftable linen in our Skyrim Special Edition. So that is how to install mods for Skyrim Special Edition in 2020 using a mod manager like Vortex 
as you can see now, if you want to enable or disable any mods, you can just click enable right there. It will disable the mod. As you can see, it's going to load, right? I'm going to re-enable that because I do want that mod enabled. So when you re-enable, you see it's going to redeploy. As you can see, I have a, some certain mods disabled because I don't want to be using them at certain times. So it's very helpful that you can come in here and enable and disable mods and then you can remove them from the list altogether if you need to, if they're corrupting anything. So that is how to install mods into Skyrim Special Edition in 2020 with the Vortex Mod Manager. As always, if you guys found the video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more gaming content. Have a great day.